go around the roundabout to see the elk. Hello, elk. Hello, more elk. Don't mind me, I'm just going in circles. Whee! Later on, elk. Oh, hey, what's up? So I'm on my, I just saw a bear, my first grizzly of the season out there. Um, I'm on my first scouting mission of the springtime. I just got back from spring break, which was wonderful. And I haven't been out for a few weeks here in the Tetons. So uh, I went out for a drive this evening Hoping to see something, just kind of get see where how much snow there is and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, obviously I want to make some some nice photos or something, but it was more of a scouting mission this afternoon. And uh, driving along, and there's a, a bear way out in the field, probably like 600 yards out there, walking through the snow fields and into the willows. It has disappeared into the willows currently, so I'm relocating to get a different angle on it. You got to say hi to a couple of my photographer friends, Greg and Sandy back there. Corey was up there. Uh, good to see those people too. I've, I've missed my photographer friends. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, scouting mission. So I'm gonna drive up the road and see if I can relocate this bear. It'd be great to make some photos of that bear. And if not, I'm gonna continue on and see what else I can find this evening. I've got about two and a half hours of light this evening. And it's lovely, it's uh, 45 degrees. It's April and uh, things should be starting to happen here with bears coming out and migrating birds coming in and animals starting to move around a little bit more out of their winter habitat. So uh, I have high hopes for the rest of the spring for this afternoon. I wouldn't call it high hopes but uh, it's great to be out and it's extra great to have seen a bear uh, already, even though it was too far away for photos or anything. So I'll check back in with you in a minute. Hopefully I can find something and make a video and make some photos. Word travels fast, apparently, when a bear comes out, because a lot of people are here now. Um, that was Neil and Tristan. Everybody knows them from Instagram, and also Evan Watts. Probably people know him from YouTube. Uh, just a little quick chit-chatting, catching up, while we're hoping the bear comes out. Uh, but I think I'm gonna keep rolling here, and uh, see if I can find something else because that bear, has, I haven't seen him for about a half hour now. And uh, he could be anywhere by now. So I'm gonna keep moving. All right, first bear in the viewfinder of the year. And actually two bears different bears than the one I saw earlier. So this is third bear of the day, which is awesome. Uh, those bears vanished behind some willows though, and I got no good photos and no good video. Just a few seconds uh, as they kind of came out into a little opening in the bushes. So I'm gonna relocate. They're moving north, see if I can bump into them uh, down the road here a little further. See if something happens, but Always good to see grizzlies in the snow and the first grizzlies of the year is always very exciting. So I'll hope for the best. 
along with the other 20 people that are here now.
Um, that was awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure you saw how awesome that was. I shot a lot of video there, not many stills. Uh, it just felt better in video with the action and stuff. So what can I say? Uh, first day out, it's first half of April, which seems a little early for these bears to be getting busy like that, but I guess I don't blame them for practicing. That's always fun. But wow, that was uh, a little better than I was expecting on a scouting mission today. So the bears moved off into the woods, uh, and then, of course, I'm moving further down the road again, just in case they decide to continue their journey and come out and uh, give us another show. Yowza. Uh, I don't have anything else to say about this at the moment. You know, I, I love to incorporate like a teaching lesson or something there, but I don't really have one. That was just like, get out and have fun and uh, hope you get lucky. And be prepared when you do get lucky to make good, good photos and good video. All right, I don't see him yet. But uh, that was just fun. So I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, I hope you enjoy that video. That was super cool. And not something you get to see every day as grizzly bears mating. And certainly not something you get to see in nice light with a nice clean background and facing straight at you. The whole shebang was pretty freaking wonderful. So uh, I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, I, I, wanted, I want to plug all of a sudden my, my spring workshops here in the Tetons, but they're not all like this. So <laughs> I don't want it to be like, come out with me and you get to do this too. Like that's the best grizzly mating I've ever seen. So, um, but we do get to see grizzlies all the time. We get to see all kinds of other cool stuff, but uh, I do have availability still on my um, spring workshops so check my website links in the description and just look on the calendar there and you can see what i've got available but uh this is what we got going on in the tetons in april um and then may and june will also be prime grizzly time out here so uh join me out here for that um that's about it thanks for watching amazing amazing and it might still get better too we'll, we'll see if something else happens out here and i've still got uh 45 minutes of light left Maybe up to an hour. We'll see, but so fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. We have a, a crowd has formed. Everybody's waiting for these bears to come back out. See ya next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>